as we know that Frida is a dynamic instrumentation framework. So let's install Frida. So first of all, we can do is uh, pip install Frida tools to install Frida. Uh, when we run this command, uh, it will show for me already satisfied just because I have already installed it Frida. I use Frida regularly. So in your case, uh, it will be uh, just some packages will be downloaded. Uh, let's check the Frida version. It's 14.2.18. So now let's decide that if you want to uh, install a latest version, uh, what we have to do is we have to identify uh, the architecture, CPU architecture. So using this Droid Info uh, APK, uh, we can download and and identify that uh, what is the instruction set and architecture is there. Now let's go to the website, uh, Android APIs. Uh, we have details of APIs. So over here, uh, if you go to this URL and you can see that this is the same ABI version uh, architecture we are dealing with. This API is basically 32-bit ARM-based uh, CPU. is for ARM-based CPU and for 64-bit, uh, there is ARM64 V8A. So as we have already identified that we have a 32-bit architecture, uh, what we do is uh, we just go to the Frida uh, GitHub repository, and uh, once you go to that, uh, you go to the releases section. In the releases section, uh, you will identify that uh, for latest Frida 15.0.2 version as of now, uh, these are the uh, you can say uh, binaries for Android devices. Uh, using Frida, we can hook uh, um, many things like Windows binaries and Linux binaries and all, Mac binaries and all. So we will go for Android. Uh, let's download it with uh, Frida server. We will download Frida server, what, whatever the version is. And for Android, uh, as you have identified from uh, your uh, devices, the same uh, you have to uh, download. For 64-bit, it's ARM64. For 32-bit, it's ARM3. ARM. All right. So uh, we have already downloaded uh, the Frida. Uh, let's uh, let's extract it. It is in you can say compressed format. So once we extract, we can see that uh, we have a binary of Frida server, uh, which we have. To, it is a Frida server. So uh, we have to move this Frida server. First of all, we have to rename this server. Let's let's rename this uh, for for the for the sake of simplicity. Uh, we have renamed it to Frida server. We have renamed the server to Frida server. Now let's uh, send it to the device as it is a server file. So uh, let's check which, which is the device. I have a physical device attached, uh, which is Motorola Moto G3. Uh, let's push it using the command adb push Frida server to data local temp directory. Data local temp, yeah. All right, so we have sent it over there. Now uh, we will try to uh, run it so adb shell oh we are uh, first of all we need to change the permission so uh, we ran the command ch mode 755 and data local temp data server now let's run it showing some error over here slnx error uh, let's go to the shell adb shell super user permissions uh, It's run directly from here as it is a binary we can run it using dot slash uh, path of that particular binary we are adding n so, so it is going to be a detached process uh, it is going giving error okay 
So I have already FIDA running on this particular port. So FIDA can, uh, the new FIDA cannot be able to find that particular port. Now we have already running. So let's see the results of this. Uh, FNPS, FN U call USB device. It is actually connected with the USB. So FN U is used for USB. And we can see that uh, these are the applications which are installed on the device. WhatsApp is there, and then Facebook is also there. Yeah, so our FIDA is up and running. And using hyphen UAI, we can give, uh, you can say, a proper uh, names of that particular application we can identify. So, WhatsApp is there, as I've seen, SuperSoup, Binary is there, Droid Info, which we are using for identifying the architecture, is there.